Yeah, 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 yeah. Blake Braga looking to make his first appearance for WPI. Double major in biomedical engineering and mechanical engineering. Dean's List honoree, member of...
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Alumni Stadium. After a year off due to the pandemic, we're back, and football is back. Another season of WPI Engineer Football is underway. In case you've forgotten, let's recap a couple of years ago, 2019, where WPI got a co-title of the new Mac alongside MIT. But not only that, they went on to win the New England Bowl over Western Connecticut, their second New England Bowl win in three seasons. Second bowl win for Chris Robertson as well. Uh, and this program, this program has graduated a lot of upperclassmen. 91 Letterman gone from the 2019 championship season. Uh, it's a little different. You look around the, the stands here, social distancing in effect here at Alumni Stadium, masking in effect here at Alumni Stadium. Down on the field, the NCAA has implemented their own rules and regulations for teams. Uh, every team is they uh, vaccinations. Uh, you know, if not, then you gotta do social distancing. They're still wearing masks and social distancing in meetings and workouts. So it's a little different. And at media day, uh, you know, at media day, the, I think the the overall feeling for everybody at media day was hey we're back playing football baby that's what we're doing we're doing football we play football we're doing football and everybody was excited for that uh, and everyone was just excited to be back with the camaraderie of football um, just being able instead of being seeing teammates through zoom reading body language through zoom they're next to their teammates they're working out coaching staff there are a few freshmen on this on this on this squad and the coaching staff admittedly said hey there are a couple freshmen we did we didn't have physical eyeballs on the tape gave us what we need to know regarding these players and you know we we get camp to kind of figure it out as well we're about six minutes and 50 seconds away from kickoff Opening night of the 2021 of football season, NCAA Division III, between the visiting Worcester State Lancers from right up the street on Chandler Street and your WPI engineers. You're watching WPI Engineer Football right here on athletics.wpi.edu and on YouTube.
players and coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem performed by the WPI Marching and Park Band. Marching band, marching and pet band, excuse me, with today's national anthem. Uh, uh, on that note, I would like to spend a, a, a special congratulations to my nephew who was just named a sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, Joey, uh, uh, much love. Uh, thank you for your service and congratulations on your on your promotion as sergeant. We're just about ready for kickoff. Both captains. Uh, both teams' captains are heading to midfield. Uh, Lou Du and Philip Durgan for your engineers going to midfield. Uh, we'll see if we get a ref activated mic for the, the coin toss or not. Uh, we'll be able to bring that to you if indeed we have that. It's like no activation of the mic by the official. And that's okay. To kind of gather what is going on. It looks like Worcester State may have won the toss. Oh, it's happening now. And Worcester State did win the toss. Worcester State won the toss. And they will defer to the second half. So that means Coach Matt Kelly and the offense will go up first for the engineers. And you know what? That's just how they like to draw it up. Coach Kelly, uh, in during media day, uh, was letting me know we, we were having the discussion about week one, going in blind with no film of your opponent uh, because you know of the COVID, the pandemic season being washed out in 2020. And he said, you know what? It doesn't matter. Our offense is our offense. We're going to do what we want to do. It's their job to stop us. And <laughs> apparently, the Worcester State coaching staff has uh, uh, taken it upon themselves to basically say, okay, uh, you know, we're going to try to stop you. An offense that put up 51 points on them the last time these two teams faced off against each other, and that was here at Alumni Stadium. In 2019, it was the same uh, Labor Day weekend, Friday night opening matchup for both teams. Uh, in any event, here we go. We have the kicking teams for both out there. Tommy Emmerich and Zach Levy are standing at their respective six and five yard lines. Meanwhile, Tyler Haypenny will line up the kicking team for Worcester State. And the 2021 season is just about ready to get underway here live from Alumni Stadium. You're watching WPI Engineers Football on athletics.wpi.edu and YouTube. 
opening kick of the 2021 20, season for the engineers. Coming up off of Tyler Haypenny's left foot. It's end over end, it's coming to the near side, sprinting up for it is Levy. He'll catch it on the bounce at the 17. Tries to cut it toward the middle of the field, gets tucked before the 25. And the engineers will take over first and 10. The engineers coming out with a, a pretty much brand new offensive line. They lost a lot on the line. Uh, however, Alex Gladue and Sullivan Boyd uh, are names that you heard before on this offensive line. Gladue on the left tackle, TJ Cooper the left guard, Brendan Green the center, Patrick Haggerty the right guard, Sullivan Boyd at right tackle will bring you the rest of the WPI starters in just a moment. Andrew Nicholas, the starting quarterback, is in the gun. He will take the snap, he'll hand it off. It's a draw up the middle. That is Hunter Carey, and he will be dropped across the 25 at the 27 yard line. Hunter Carey is the starting running back. Philip Durgan, the captain grad student, is the starting fullback. Ethan Farah, Tommy Emmerich, Isaac Frederick are the three starting wide receivers. But as you see here, engineers going four wide, and they'll bring out Doug Kane. He's all alone on the near side. He's a tight end, also a split up. Nicholas takes the snap, He'll, he loses the fumble, and then he gets swallowed up by a host of Lancers at the 21. A... Oh, they're gonna say it's gonna be in the 23-yard line, so it'll be third and, third and 10. So after the four-yard gain by Carey, it's a four-yard fumble loss, but recovery by Andrew Nicholas, who had a little trouble on the RPO, pulling the ball out of Carey's belt. Carey the deep back, Nicholas pointing out the Mike linebacker. That is Matt Johnston in the middle. Nicholas takes a snap. We'll give it to Carey. Draw to the right side. Big hole! Breaks a tackle to the 40! Step on! Across the 45 to the 47. Big strong run by Hunter Carey, and why not? He's wearing the number four, which was worn last season, or excuse me, two years ago, by Sean McGowan, you know, just a 3,000 yard rusher here at WPI. Good start for the offense here, third and long, they convert, they're near midfield, the ball's on the 46 yard line, on the engineer 46 yard line. Nicholas at the gun. He has Wynn to his hip. Levy in motion. They give us to Wynn. Wynn to the left side. Gets to midfield and no more. A four-yard gain for Brandon Wynn. Wynn, a senior on a two-spirit. First carry in, uh, in a couple of years for Wynn. Did not have a carry in the 2019 season. 12.25 to go here, first quarter. We're just in our way, live from Alumni Stadium. It's second and six for the Engineers. They, Worcester State Lancers won the toss, elected to defer, Engineers offense out there. Five wide empty backfield for Nicholas. <clears throat> in motion is Durgin. Nicholas takes a snap, here comes the blitz by Worcester State. Nicholas gets rid of it, going downfield, that ball is caught! Joe Coucher! Separation and maybe over the shoulder catch. What a great play drawn up by Matt Kelly right there. Matt Kelly said, hey, they're going to bring the heat, and if they do, we're going to have cornerbacks on an island, and Joe Coucher makes the catch. First and 10 engineers at the Lancer 15-yard line. Power formation behind Nicholas. It's Dirge in the up back, carry the deep back. It's like a modified pistol. Nicholas takes a snap, gives it to carry, going left side, bounces to the outside, eludes the tackler. Stiff arm dives forward. We'll see where they spot him. If it's at the five, it's a first and goal from the five for the engineers. Oh, it's going to be very close to that five yard line. They're going to say he's a yard short. 
It's at the six yard line, second and one for the engineers from the six. Second down, one. 11 minutes to go, first quarter. Scoreless here from Alumni Stadium, but the engineers are knocking inside the red zone. Second and one from the six. Nicholas in the gun, carry behind him. Durgeon in the H slot. Durgeon shifts to the right side. Nicholas takes a snap, but before that happens, we're going to get a delay a game. So a delay a game on Andrew Nicholas and the engineer's offense, and instead of second and one, it'll be second and six from the 11 yard line. We have a good, we, there's a good crowd here tonight, despite the social distancing. Worcester State, again, just up the road on Chandler Street. They have a pretty good showing. NWPI, of course, the home team with a good showing. Durgeon in motion. Nicholas extends the hands, takes a snap, hands it off to Carey up the middle, bounces right, then goes back up the middle, gets hit a couple times, but it'll pick up the first down inside the five to the four. It'll be first and goal engineers with 10.08 to go first quarter. And we'll see what Matt Kelly draws up here. Kelly not afraid to run, uh, excuse me, throw here. Bryce Wade warming up on the sidelines for either a PAT or a short field goal. The left footed kicker coming back, the New Mac Special Teams Player of the Year, by the way, in 2019. Man in motion is Emmerich. Uh, the handoff is botched. Nicholas will keep it and he'll get tackled at the 10. It'll be second and goal from there. They actually mark him at the nine. So that's the second time where there's a little bit of motion and I'm not sure if Nicholas was supposed to pull that out of the belly of Tommy Emmerich on the RPO or leave it for Tommy Emmerich on the RPO. Either way, there was a miss up of exchange. Second time that's happened in this drive for WPI. Maybe something to keep, uh, keep an eye on. Four wide receivers out there for the engineers. Ethan Farah in the slot on the far side. Coucher in the slot on the near side. Carry to the left of Nicholas, who takes a snap. Takes a hand on throw. Farrell on the skinny post. It's called incomplete. It'll be third and goal from the eight. Ball is a little bit behind Farrell. Out of Grafton, Massachusetts. Was also a standout baseball player at Grafton. Uh, I actually had the, uh, the lovely privilege of coaching him when he was younger as well, uh, back when he was a, a, a wee boy, as they say, and when he was 12. 8.47 to go, first quarter, we're scoreless. Third and goal from the eight for the Engineers. Carry behind Nicholas, four wide receivers out there again for the Engineers. Carry, looking to go right side, cuts back up the middle, flag is thrown, he's in the end zone, but we'll see a flag. It was thrown by the back judge, I'm not sure if there was a hold up the middle. We'll listen in on the call. So, a personal foul, weak side block that'll drive the engineers back 15 yards. Ball is spotted on the 20, 23 and a half yard line. The nose is closer to the 22, so maybe no, they're gonna call it the 23. So for third and goal, technically, from the 23 yard line for the engineers. They have one of two options here. They can either kick a long field goal or go for it here on fourth down. And with Bryce Wade's leg, not a bad idea. Nicholas looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, eludes a rusher, but not the second one. He gets thrown down from behind, forward to the 17 yard line. And here comes Galen Holmes' special teams crew. Mm -hmm. 
Bryce Wade will come out again. Special New Max Special Teams Player of the Year in 2019. On the far hash, the spot is on the 24, so it'll be a 34-yard field goal here for Bryce Wade if he connects. 8:02 to go. Snap good, hold good, kick is up and good. WPI takes a three. On the up back, it's Jakes gets to the 20 and gets chucked up and knocked down. And the engineers have pretty good defensive field position, pinning the Lancers back at the 20-yard line. Worcester State will come out with Aaron Moses Williams at quarterback. Ryan Justin, Nick Kopaz, Trevor Johnson, Mike Mahoney, Austin Michelson, left to right on the line. Amir Mells, the running back. Christian Hines, the tight end. That's how it's set up here for the Lancers. High snap, give this to Mells, who maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they'll give him forward progress. Second and 10 for the Lancers. Cam Smith credited with the stop. Starting defense for the engineers up front, Cam Smith, Lou Dew, and Nika Hessel. Linebackers, Matthew O'Donnell. We'll get to that in a second. On the run is Williams. Flag is thrown and we'll see what the flag is. O'Donnell, Doncaster, Wirtz, Bragaw are your starting linebackers. Cassidy and Bent, your safeties. Pina and Storch are your corners. We'll listen to the flag. Holding. Offense. 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 Number 15. Number 15. Number 15. Number 15. Number so it's a whole call. So whatever happened there is erased. Williams takes a snap from the gun, looking to throw, goes over the middle, ball is hot! Dan Javerti making the catch at the 30, it'll be first and 10 for the Lancers. On the 20 yard catching. Williams in the gun, turns back to Mel's, lets him know what the count is. Williams on a design carry. Oh, oh, on 
the near side. Alludes to tackle runs out of bounds at the 40. Four yard line, first and 10 Lancers. Back to back first downs for Worcester State. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter at Alumni Stadium, WPI three, Worcester State zero. Williams from the gun, melts to his left hip. The fake to Mels, the throw out is to Kevon Davis on the wide receiver screen who gets back to the line of scrimmage and that's it, second and 10. <laughs> Blake Bradshaw on the stop for the engineers. No gain, second and 10, 5.25 to go. First quarter, WPI three, Worcester State zero. Williams takes a snap, looking to throw, coming near side. That ball is caught. Came on Davis, eludes two tacklers, spikes his way across the 45 for another Lancer first down to the WPI 43. So a little RPO action here by the Lancers, and we're gonna get some whistles. And we'll see what is going on here. There's a WPI player down. 4.53 to go here, first quarter. WPI three, Worcester State zero. We're gonna get a break in the WPI player who's down if he's okay, fully okay, and we do hope so. He'll have to come out for one series before re-entering the game. That's Matthew O'Donnell who's making his way to the sideline. He's walking on his own power with Mike DeSavage and Shanna Dalton, the head trainer and associate head trainer here at uh, WPI. Trainers, I should say. 4.53 and counting to go here. In the first quarter, Worcester State driving at the WPI 43 after three first downs here in this first drive. Williams from the gun. He'll take the snap. Look at a throw near side. That ball is complete to Dion Ose Sarpon, who gets across the 35 to the 34. It's a yard short of the first down, second and one for the Lancers. So this was the kind of the worry heading into this year for WPI. Losing so many lettermen on the on the defensive side of the ball. Lou Du, who's a grad student, Nika Hessel, who's been a part of the program. Derek Doncaster's been a part of the program, but he hasn't really seen a lot of playing time thus far, except for this year. Williams, rolling, throwing on the run, all around and making a catch on the far side, and get it to the end zone! It's Kayvon Davis! Touchdown Lancers! Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Lancers go up on the Engineers, 6-3 on that touchdown pass to Kevon Davis. Wall to attempt the point after try. Flags though, maybe a false start as... So it's a five yard penalty, they'll try it again. snap and now the throw to the end zone is batted down so a failed PAT which is really going to go down as a failed two-point conversion 
So Lancer still only up by three, six to three with four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Four minutes to go here, first quarter. Worcester State six, WPI three. Worcester State just had a botched PAT and failed to go up seven to three. Tyler Hay Penny to kick. Back deep for the engineers are Tommy Emmerich and Zach Levy. And over end kick to the near side, it is Levy. Taking it, cutting it cross field to the far hash. Has some room, gets across the 30. To the 34-yard line, and that's when the engineers' offense will take over first and ten. So let's see what Matt Kelly has dialed in for the second drive of the 2021 season. 3.52 to go first quarter. Engineers from their own 34 yard line trailing six to three. Give us the carry. Bounces outside. Before getting swallowed up at the 35 again a one second and nine. Second and nine, 329 to go here, first quarter. Worcester State six, WPI three. It's opening night for Division Three football here in New England. And WPI is hosting the Worcester State Lancers foes from just up the road on Chandler Street. Nicholas in the gun. He'll take the snap, he'll get it to carry. Goes near side, lowers his shoulder, excuse me, that's Brandon Wynn. Lowers his shoulder, gets across the 40 to the 42. It'll be third and short. Brandon Wynn with a couple of punishing runs. Here for the engineers early in this game. So, 2.38 to go, first quarter, third and three from its own 42 for WPI. Nicholas fakes, rolls, throws, on the run, complete, eluding a tackle, Emmett still on his feet, spins his way out of bounds to the 42-yard line. First and 10 engineers from the Lancers, 42. Two ten to go here, first quarter. Uh, Worcester State uh, in their uh, road whites look like stormtroopers, and that's important because WPI's pep band will be playing Star Wars music during halftime, and I'm really excited about that. But first, the football game. Nicholas to throw. Plenty of time, gets rid of it, over the middle, complete, fighting his way through tacklers, is Joe Coucher, and he's down at the 35. Uh, excuse me, that's Douglas Kane, the tight end, making the catch. 90 seconds to go here, first quarter. WPI trailing 6-3, on the move at the Lancer, 35 yard line, second of second and four. Oh, 
Nicholas looking to throw, comes near side, almost intercepted. It was thrown out of bounds. Over there with the coverage is Mason Broyles for Mason Broyles for the Lancers. It'll be third and four for the engineers. Sixty-four seconds to go, first quarter. Quad wide receivers out there for WPI. Nicholas takes the snap, gives it off. It is Brandon Wynn who cannot get anything. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. He gets uh, maybe three yards to the 32. Uh, they'll actually, yeah, three yards to the 32. It's fourth and two. Offense staying out there for WPI. 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. No need to say that this will be a giant conversion here for WPI. 10 on the game clock. Nicholas barking out protections. Durgin in motion. Nicholas takes a snap. It's win. Bounces outside. Gets the first down. Across the 25 to the 24. First and 10 engineers with 12 seconds to go first quarter. Good job by Brandon Wynn. He was so patient. Waiting and waiting and finally bouncing outside to get the first down. That's the last play of the first quarter. Worcester State 6, WPI 3. WPI getting on the board on a 34-yard field goal by Bryce Wade. Worcester State then took its ensuing drive, drove it downfield, and Kayvon Davis, who was big in that drive, receiving, caught the touchdown pass. They botched the point after try snap. And that's where we are, 6-3 at the end of one quarter. We'll leave you with the WPI pet band. You're watching WPI football on athletics.wpi.edu and YouTube. Stadium. Nicholas can't handle a snap. They'll just fall on it on the 35. It was a high snap, but certainly one that could be handled. I think Nicholas took his eye off the ball and was looking at the blitzer and just misplaced the ball. It's a loss of 10. So it'll bring up second and 20 instead of first and 10. Or second and short. Just underway, second quarter. 14.30 to go here in the first half. Worcester State 6, WPI 3. It's opening night in New England for Division Three football. These two teams have basically played each other every opening night, alternating home and home in this series. Nicholas has win to his... Wow, on the play. And we'll hear it. Delay a game, second delay a game penalty on Andrew Nicholas and the offense here in this first half. Interestingly enough, the coaching staff was talking during media day that communication on the field and off the field was going to be important because of all the new players and all the new uh, maybe not new players to the program, but new players getting actual playing time in a real game. Win up the middle. Gains of 10 yards and then some to the 31. Uh, he'll gain nine, excuse me, to the 31. 
So it'll be third and very long here for the engineers. Third down, 16. 16 is the official marker. Third and 16 for the engineers. 13-19 to go here first half. Four wide receivers out there for the engineers. Nicholas takes a snap, drops back. Good pocket, looking to throw over the middle. It's incomplete. It was intended for Douglas Kane, who was triple teamed. Excuse me, that ball was intended for Coucher, and it'll bring up fourth down. And it looks like Gaylord Coach Holmes Special teams unit will be coming out, probably for a pooch punt, if I had to guess. And now, the offensive linemen are going back out on the field. No timeouts have been called, and probably one here by Chris Robertson, and there it is. Timeout WPI, 13.06 to go, first half. Worcester State 6, WPI 3. still running on the scoreboard. So I guess we'll have to wait until it turns over. There's still 30 seconds left according to the scoreboard on the timeout. So the officials will just let it run down. And that's when the play will resume. That is the timeout running. Please bear with us. Third and 16, WPI so far, two of five, 40% on third down conversions. And here we go, 13.06 to go, first half. Worcester State six, WPI three. Nicholas in the gun, he's got four wide receivers with him. Look at the throw. Steps up over the middle, that ball is overthrown and intercepted in the end zone. Noah Peterson playing center field as a safety will make the interception. That ball was intended for Tommy Emmerich, but well overthrown and into multiple coverage. First and 10 Lancers from their own 20. So engineers kind of shooting themselves in the foot here in the first half. A couple of delayed game penalties, a couple of botched snaps, and now an interception thrown by Andrew Nicholas. Moses, uh, Aaron Moses Williams in the gun for Worcester State. He's got Amir Mells to his right hip. Williams looks far side going to the seam. That ball is caught and immediately dropped down after the first down is Dion Ose Sampal. Another passing first down here for the Lancers. It's the fourth passing first down. They have five total on the evening. Trips to the near side. Williams instead gives to Mells. A lot of room near side, flag being thrown. I'm gonna guess it's a hold, but we'll see what it's called. We'll take a listen for the flag once the official comes on the mic. So a 10 yard holding penalty negates the big pickup Place at the 23 yard line. First down. 
And now an empty backfield for Williams. Now he's going to be joined by Nico Holmes to his right hip. Williams looking to throw, goes far side, completes to Kayvon Davis. He gets hit after a five yard pickup to the 28. It'll be second and long, a four yard pickup. Second and long for the Lancers. Kayvon Davis, five catches on this young evening for Mr. Davis. Give us some homes. Hits the right side, then tries to go up the gut. Mels gets to the 30. It'll be third and 11 for the Lancers. Blue do on the stop. Eleven minutes even to go here, first half. Williams looking to throw, flushed out of the pocket, under pressure, will get rid of it. Good job by Williams. That's a smart quarterback play, just getting rid of it into the third. It'll break up fourth and long, and the punting unit will come on. I would imagine. And yes, here they come. Kyle Wall steps out. The punter. Back deep for the engineers will be uh, Tommy Emmerich. Tommy Emmerich inside his own 30 at his own 26 yard line awaiting this punt. Actually his heels will touch the 24. Bosch kick, but it takes a Worcester State bounce. Emmerich Calls fire and it'll be down at the 28 yard line. So WPI will take over first and 10 from its own 28 yard line to start here in the second quarter. Engineers trailing 6 3 to the Lancers. WPI got a 34 yard field goal from Bryce Wade with the state counter with a touchdown by Kayvon Davis, a 34-yard pass. However, the point after try snap was awful, and that's why we should say it at six and not seven. Nicholas looking to throw, goes far side, that ball through Emmerich's hands and falls incomplete. They're calling it a forward pass and not a lateral, so incomplete second and 10. Ball went right through Emmerich's hands. I, I don't know if he was thinking of, of moving upfield before he Secured the football. 10.36 to go, first half. So the engineer offense not helping itself at all. Durgin goes in motion to the near side. Nicholas will take the snap. Fakes the handoff, rolls to the far side. Plants, throws, downfield, that ball is we got get pass interference. It's only a 15-yard penalty, but there is a flag upfield as well. So maybe a hold before the pass interference. We'll have to listen for the flags, plural. Once the officials come together. 10.28 to go here. First half, we'll listen in for the penalties. There are two, two fouls on the play. Defense number 24, and receiver downfield. Offense number 75. Both penalties offset. Check it out. So offsetting, offsetting penalties. Interference downfield and then the ineligible receiver upfield by the engineers. Offsetting penalties, that'll make it second and 10 instead of first and 10 plus 15 for the engineers. Again, shooting themselves in the foot here in this first half. 
not your prototypical Matt Kelly offense. Nicholas on the RPO, he'll give it to Levy, who powers his way across the 30 to the 32, maybe the 33. He gets to the 32, it's a four yard game, third and six. Trips to the near side for WPI. 9.50 to go here, first half. W, uh, WPI trailing to Worcester State, 6-3. Nicholas looking to throw, back foot, comes near side to Emmerich, who has to turn around, but couldn't make the catch. Uh, excuse me, that was Noah Herzog, who was the intended receiver. Fourth and five, and that means Galen Holmes' special teams unit will come out, and Bryce Wade will look to put this ball away. Lauren DiLoretto, back to punt for WPI. And actually, they're going to send out DiLoretto to punt this ball. Kayvon Davis back deep for return for the engine, uh, the Lancers. Davis standing at his own 20. DiLoretto takes the snap. Good booming kick. Kayvon Davis rolling up to the 27, makes the catch, gets tripped. We'll see, it looks like Worcester State retains possession. Kayvon Davis falling back on that football. Luckily, it's first and 10 from the 32 yard line for Worcester State. Nine thirty to go here, first half. First and 10 Lancers. Ready to go, whistle goes off. Lancers come out of the huddle from the sideline looking to line up here on the field. Williams says Mels and Holmes with them in the gun. They give us to Holmes, goes left side, picks up two to the 35, three, excuse me, to the 35, second and seven. Chad Wren will check in for the Lancers. He's to Williams left. Nico Holmes to Williams right. Williams looking to throw. Steps up over the middle. That ball is complete. And a big stick coming up from the line of scrimmage by Zach Wenberg. Kayvon Davis make the catch. But Zach Newberg, sorry, making the hit. 8.35 to go, first half. Worcester State 6, WPI 3. Lancers with the football, third and five from their own 37. Williams has Wren to his left and Holmes to his right. Instead, the throw is over the middle. And Kayvon Davis has a first down across the 45 to the 46. So now WPI will take out a linebacker and add an extra body up front. So WPI kind of going 4-3 here defensively. Not their usual defensive lineup, but something to disrupt this offense. Give us to Holmes, powers his way to the 49 yard line. It'll be second down for Worcester State. Seven and a half minutes to go, first half. Worcester State six, WPI three. Here an opening night for Division Three football in New England. These two teams, no strangers to each other. Typically open the season against each other. They alternate home and away.
Williams takes a snap. Holmes trying to go to the far side and gets swallowed up at the line of scrimmage, third and seven. It's the first time, really, all game that the engineers have had a good push up front and have able to penetrate the backfield to disrupt a play by the Lancers. Six thirty-five to go, first half. Third and seven, Worcester State from its own 49-yard line. Williams barking out the protection to his line before getting back to the gun. Trips to the far side, Williams looking to throw, comes near side, ball is caught by Dylan Hall across the 40 to the 38, first and 10, Lancers. Another passing first down, that's six on the night for Worcester State, up there seven, first down. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. At least that's what offensive coordinator Adam Pelliquin, who's also the head coach, is thinking. On the keep, it's Williams. Comes to the near side. Gets swallowed up after two yards, second and eight. Pelliquin's had that interim tag on him as the head coach for quite some time now. Two seasons at Worcester State. Still no official naming of him of the head coach. First head coach in almost four, first new head coach for Worcester State in almost four decades. And it's certainly a different offense that he's bringing in and a different energy than we've seen in the past couple of seasons. Five minutes to go, first half. Williams to Holmes, almost lost the football. And he basically falls forward across the 35 to the 33. It's a pickup of three, second, uh, excuse me, third and five. Four thirty-nine to go, first half. We got trip wide receivers to the far side for Williams. Christian Hines in as a blocking tight end on the near side. Instead, he'll release, throw, is to Hines, down the seam, it's incomplete. It was behind him, and it was closer to Max Storch than it was to Christian Hines. It's fourth and five, and if you're Pelican, you got to go for it here. First fourth down attempt of the 2021 season for the Lancers. Now the WPI crowd kind of getting into it. Williams looking to throw, goes far side, ball is up, that ball caught! Over the shoulder, reaching up Dylan Hall, inside the five to the two, first and 10 Lancers, first and goal, excuse me, Lancers. What a catch by Dylan Hall. Leaping and making the back shoulder grab in the air at the highest point. So one for one on fourth downs here so far in the young season for Worcester State. It's a 31 yard pickup. And we're gonna get, we'll see what the, Worcester State, the first and a half. First charge timeout for Worcester State in the first half. 3.51 to go, first half. WPI trailing Worcester State, six to three. First and goal from the two for Worcester State. And ordinarily we would leave you with the pep band during a timeout, but the pep band is starting to get ready to come to midfield for their show, so they're not gonna play. Eighth passing first down for the Lancers. It's their ninth first down of the evening. Excuse me, seventh passing first down. Oh, 
Ball spotted on the two yard line. First, First and goal, goal from the two. Two big boys in the backfield. It's Chad Wren and Nico Holmes. And they're going to add Mel's as a true deep back. It's a Wildcat for, actually Loveless is out there. Loveless will take it and try to sneak it himself. And he gets to the one, second and goal. So Loveless, uh, he is listed as the number two quarterback on the depth chart. Had no stats back in 2019. Uh, actually, he's a sophomore, so he came into Worcester State last year. So this is his first true action of his career. So Loveless first career collegiate carry is a plus one game. 315 and counting first half. 10 seconds on the game clock here for the Lancers. So Loveless better get this ball off pretty quickly. Five seconds on the game clock. Takes a snap, keeps it, goes up the middle and into the end zone for a touchdown. Lancers. The sophomore with his first two carries of his career. The first one a plus one game, the second one a plus one game for a touchdown. And the Lancers are up 12-3 with 3.01 to go here first half over the Engineers. Uh, Wall on to attack the PAT. Wall to attempt the point after truck. Snap good, hold good, kick good. Worcester State 13, WPI 3, 3.01 to go here, first half. Worcester State 14, It's been an interesting first half, to say the least, for WPI. The offensive was after the first drive, the very first drive netted three points on the 34-yard Bryce Wade field goal. After that drive, there's been mishandled snaps. There's been ineligible receivers downfield. There's been drop passes. And there's been poorly placed throws as well. So their own worst enemy is WPI so far in this football game. 3-0-1 to go here in the first half. Tommy Emmerich, Zach Levy back to return. Tyler Haypenny to kick for Worcester State. Something's got to give here. Brendan Alexa, if it gets that far, I'm not sure it will, but Brendan Alexa is the number two quarterback for WPI. If it gets that far, again, I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. It's a short kick in over end. The up back takes it at the 23. Gets to the 31 before getting knocked down. It'll be first and 10 engineers from their own 30. They're going to mark it. So we'll see how the engineers can respond offensively after a drive by Worcester State, which saw a fourth down conversion via a 31 yard pass and catch from Williams. From Williams to Hall, and Hall making that fantastic catch at the high point of his jump. Another delay of game. Let's add that. The third delay of game on WPI. After the penalty, the first line of 15. First and 15 for the engineers. Christian Luizzi in at quarterback for the engineers. The give is to carry. For Game zero, second and 15. 
Flag on the play. Flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is. It was over. Crystal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Number 92. 50 yard penalty from the end of the run. Oh, that's that one. So Jaden Karen getting flagged for an unnecessary roughness. 15 yard penalty will bring him to the 40. First and 10 engineers after a no gain after a delayed game penalty. So a gift. And Christian Liuzzi still out there as the quarterback. Uh, Luizzi, excuse me. Luizzi scrambling, looking to throw near side for Emmerich. That ball is incomplete. They said it hit the turf. Second and 10. Second down and 10. Two thirty two to go, first half. Worcester State 13, WPI 3. Luizzi is in the gun with an empty backfield. It's a designed quarterback run. He goes up the middle, crosses the 40 to the 44. A four yard pickup, third and six. Noah Peterson, who already has an interception in the game, up from his safety position to make the stop. The docile sounds of Park Avenue behind his microphones picking it up. Two minutes even ago here in the first half. Third and five, third and six, excuse me, for WPI from its own 44. Luizzi takes a snap, looking to throw, rolling near side. Eluding pressure, needs to get rid of it. Instead takes a hit, spins off the tackle! Crosses the 50, first down, Engineers! I thought for sure he should have taken that ball out of bounds to avoid the big hit. He absorbed the hit and then spun. He's right at midfield of first down, Engineers. 50, first down. 90 seconds to go first half. They need to get going if they want to put the ball in the end zone here. Trips to the far side for Luizzi. Coucher all alone on the near side. Luizzi back to throw, looking over the middle. That ball is tipped and falls incomplete. Luizzi's pass incomplete. Intended for number 21. Marshall breaking up the pass for Worcester State. Seventy-four seconds to go here in this first half. Worcester State four, thirteen, WPI three. Louisi with carry behind him. Instead, we have movement. That is Patrick Haggerty in the right guard moving early. <laughs> 74 seconds to go, second and 15 from their own 45. Durgin in motion to the near side. Luizzi, rolling far side, looking to throw, looking to throw, looking to throw. Eludes a tackler, finally puts it up, incomplete. But I gotta tell you, if you're Luizzi, you gotta throw that ball out of bounds. Instead of, instead of just trying to, you know, throw it out there. Third and 15 with 64 seconds to go in the first half. Seven on the game clock. Five on the game clock. 
Luizzi takes a snap, looks to throw, will dump it off. It's caught by Carey. Going up the middle, fights off a tackle. Let's see where they mark him, short of the first down. Forty-five seconds to go. You got to leave the offense out there. Got to get try to get a first down. Fourth and two. They're already one for two on fourth down. Might as well try to get another one. Luizzi keeps it up the middle. First down. Engineers at the thirty-nine yard line. Thirty-one seconds to go. You don't need to call a timeout, but instead, C. Rob and Mac Mark. Uh, Kelly call timeout. Second charge timeout for WPI in the first half. 30 seconds to go. It'll be first and 10 WPI after this timeout. Again, normally we would leave you with the pep band, but the pep band preparing for their halftime show. Let's see if this drive can come up with anything for the engineers. Matt Kelly, uh, you know, we've been spoiled here on Boynton Hill. And the reason why I mentioned early in the, earlier in the half, Andrew Nicholas, the starting quarterback, that there are other quarterbacks out there. You gotta find some sort of rhythm. Luizzi, As of now, given that for the engineers. The clock should not start, and it does not. First and 10 from the Worcester State 39. 30 seconds and one timeout left for the engineers. Luizzi dumping it over the middle. That ball is caught by Emmerich. Got to get to the line of scrimmage and spike the football here. Everybody on side. Luizzi takes a snap and downs it. And now a huddle. So it'll be third down from the 36 yard line. Third and seven from the 36. 16 seconds and one timeout, but it's third and seven. Here, you gotta get something. Either get out of bounds after making a catch or you're throwing to the sideline, or you go in the middle and call your final timeout, but you gotta get a first down if you're gonna call a timeout. I would imagine. Luizzi takes a snap, looking to throw, good pocket, good protection, looking, sliding, nobody's open. Eludes a tackle and not anymore. Drop for the sack and that'll, uh, might as well call it. Final timeout called by WPI. Six seconds to go, so. Maybe one thing for Luizzi to keep in mind, right? You gotta keep the play alive, but you gotta know that there's 16 seconds on the clock. You gotta know that you don't have much time. If you're looking to get a first down and call your final timeout, then, you know, your clock in your head has to let you know, I gotta get rid of this. And if nobody's open downfield, maybe come to the, come outside the tackle box and throw it away. It's all part of the growing process as a quarterback. First time playing here in college football. Fourth and 14 from the Worcester State 43. Six seconds to go. Lancers in quasi prevent defense. Engineers with four wide receivers. Trips to the far side. Joe Coucher all alone near side. Luizzi takes the snap at the waist. Looking to throw. Looking to throw, steps into it, throws downfield. That ball is up, that ball is tipped, and it falls incomplete. And that's the end of the first half. WPI trailing at the half. Worcester State 13, WPI 3. Stick around here on the broadcast. We will have the WPI pep and marching band who will be performing certain songs from Star Wars. I'm excited for this. I'm pumped for this, and so should you. It's halftime here from Alumni Stadium, Worcester State 13.
WPI 3 halftime of Division 3 opening night action here in New England. You're watching WPI football on athletics.wpi.edu and on YouTube.
Stadium about to get started in the second half. Um, Worcester State 13, WPI 3. Some first half stats. Aaron Moses Williams 11 of 13, 147 yards and a touchdown. That touchdown was to Kevon Davis, seven catches, 83 yards. With the longest of 34 yard touchdown reception for Kevon Davis. Um, about to get underway, Whistle State will receive the second half kickoff as they deferred in the first half. So Bryce Wade will come out and the Galen Holmes' special teams unit will step out on the field just a quick just a quick mention here. It's about uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good night, Nora Luisa. Daddy loves you. I will see you tomorrow morning. About to get underway here in the second half. And I just want to say as well, I love my wife, Erin, and our puppy, Olive. Love you guys very much, but good night, Nora Luisa. I hope you have sweet dreams, my love. Bryce Wade lining up to kick to get things started here in the second half. The offense, the WPI offense struggled in the first half and now they're gonna switch sides. The WPI offense struggled in the first half, but a lot of it self, self done, right? Uh, false start penalty. A three delay game penalties, an ineligible receiver downfield on a play where you also had a pass interference that could have got you plus 15 yards. I know Coach C. Rob is always a big proponent of take the first half, whatever happened, good or bad, flush it down the toilet. Let's see how that message resonates in with this group here in 2021. On the kick, it's Kayvon Davis on the near side. Makes the catch, gets across the 25 to the 27, and here's the WPI energy we're used to. Worcester State will take over first and 10, but the energy on the sideline is up for the engineers. 
Just underway, second half, 14.56 to go, third quarter. Worcester State 13, WPI 3. Worcester State will take over first and 10 from its own 28 yard line. The passing game has been stellar for the Lancers carving up the engineer secondary. And we'll see if there's a change in the secondary, much like we saw a change at quarterback in the first half. Referee's whistle has been blown, and here we go. The first snap of the second half. Williams from the gun, he'll give it to Mel. Get in the backfield! At the 24-yard line, a loss of four, second and 14. That's a great start for the engineers. Lou D with the with the penetration and the tackle, something we didn't see often in the first half. Williams with Holmes and Mels flanking him. Takes a snap, look at the throw. Pulls it down, runs up the middle, has plenty of room, now gets closed off and hit hard. Nika Hessel involved in the tackle as well. It is Max Storch with the big hit. Uh, it's a gain of four, but it's still third and 10 for the Lancers. Thirteen fifty-seven to go, third quarter. Empty backfield for Williams. Trips to the far side. Excuse me, Mels will be to Williams. Right hip. Williams. Pointing out the protection, maybe spotting a blitzer. Takes a snap, looking to throw. Goes down the middle, downfield. All oh, out, oh, on Davis. Makes the catch, hits the afterburners. Touchdown, Lancers. <laughs> 72 yard touchdown connection between Williams and Davis, the second pitch and catch touchdown for the duo, Worcester State 19, WPI 3. Wall looking to convert the point after. Worcester State has struggled one time out of the two opportunities already. Good snap, good hold, good kick. Worcester State 20. WPI 3, 13 point out of go here in the third quarter on the third play from scrimmage. The Lancers connect on a 72 yard touchdown pass from Williams to Kayvon Davis over the middle of the field. He got behind all of the defenders and then hit the afterburners as soon as he hit the 32 yard line to get to the end zone. The secondary is young. Inexperienced more so than young. Inexperienced secondary. And Coach Pelequin, who's uh, the interim head coach and offensive coordinator at Worcester State. Coach Pelequin has been basically uh, taking advantage of that fact. And we've seen that with Kayvon Davis getting free on a consistent basis. The, the, the sophomore playmaker, Kayvon Davis. Tyler Hay, Penny to kick. Tommy Emmerich, Zach Levy back deep. The kick is to Levy's side of the field who will make the catch. Far hash has some room, crosses the 30, still on its feet, and gets to the 39, no, the 40 yard line. First and 10 engineers from their own 40. So the special teams unit for the engineers, kick return unit, has done their job, has given the engineers good field positioning, most if not all of the night. That's Levy's third return of the night. And he's averaging, well, before that, 14 per return. Oh, 
Engineers looking to get to work on offense. That's Nicholas back as quarterback. He'll hand off to Carey, who crashes across to the 44-yard line. A pickup of four, second and six. So Nicholas back under center again after the struggles in the first half. Maybe it's Coach Matt Kelly saying, hey, part of what I said but as we got back on the air, flush all the bad stuff out. Let's get back. Let's try to get in a rhythm. Ten on the game clock for Nicholas. Lance is showing blitz on the near side. Instead, they back off. Nicholas looking to throw over the middle. Ball. Ha! And hit almost instantaneously is tight end Doug Kane, but not before a first down to the Lancers 45 yard line. Noah Peterson putting the big hit on. Engineers first and 10 from the Lancer 45 yard line, 12 20 to go here in the third quarter. Worcester State enjoying a 17 point lead, 20 to 3. Nicholas, Durgin goes in motion. Nicholas will take the snap on the toss. Trying to hit the edge as Levy gets some space across the 40 to the 38 yard line. It's a seven yard pickup, second and three. Coming at you live from Alumni Stadium, WPI Engineer Football. Worcester State 20, WPI 3, 11.40 to go here in the third quarter. The Director of Athletics here at WPI, Donna Harmon, Associate Athletic Director and Sports Information Director and basically Executive Producer of these broadcasts, Rusty Egan. On the sweep, it's carry. Far side, first down and then some powers his way inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. 23-yard line, first and 10 engineers. Also executive producer, Alex Gutierrez, the assistant sports information director. Statistician for football, Rusty Egan. 11 minutes even to go here, third quarter. Engineers, after giving up a quick score to Worcester State, try to get some rhythm going offensively here with Andrew Nicholas back under center. Nicholas takes a snap, looking to throw, goes far side, back shoulder throw, over the shoulder! It is incomplete intended for Coucher. Sort of a back shoulder throw. Second and 10 from the Lancer 23 yard line. In motion, Tommy Emmerich. The game is to carry. Passes outside, fights off the tackle. Picks the eye to the pylon. Touchdown, Engineers! The first rushing touchdown of Hunter Carey's career. The sophomore from South Hadley, Massachusetts gives the engineers the first touchdown of the 2021 season. Kick is good. Engineers get on the board. Here in the second half, Worcester State 20, WPI 10. What a great drive by the engineers sustaining that. The running game coming in huge, the passing game there when it's needed. Exactly what the doctor ordered, but what a great start here in the second half for the engineers, Hunter Carey, and that offensive line getting going for WPI, finally. Something going, and Nicholas, you can see him on the sideline, in the middle of that of the pack of the Haas and everyone else, 
basically saying, we're not going anywhere. We got this, boys. Let's keep going. Now it's on the defense to stop Worcester State. Kick off by Wade. They kick it away from Kayvon Davis. It's Jakes coming across the 20. Gets tripped up at the 22. First and 10 engine, or excuse me, Lancers from their own 22 yard line. Derek Doncaster, middle linebacker, making a stop for WPI. Ball will be spotted at the 22-yard line. First down, 10. Ten thirty-one to go, third quarter. The Worcester State offense, which has been basically doing anything they want at will against this WPI defense. And now we get a whistle. Delay a game on the offense. Williams looking to throw after the delayed game, pulls down, has room up the middle. Tries to spin off a tackle, gets across the 20 to the 22. It's the original line of scrimmage, second and 10. Doncaster making the stop. Second down and 10 for the Lancers after the five yard pickup negates the five yard loss. Trips to the near side for Worcester State. Williams gets the sign from Pelican on the sideline. Now bat snap! Falls on it at the 15. It's a loss. Uh, nearly 10. It's a loss of seven. They're going to say it's at the 16-yard line. So a loss of eight, third and 18. So we saw this in the first half with Worcester, with WPI, a bad snap. Now Worcester State with a bad snap. And the WPI defense has the opportunity to pin its ears back and get after Williams here on a clear passing situation. Instead, it's a draw up the middle. Mels, excuse me, Holmes, back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Fourth and 10 for the Lancers, and that'll bring on Kyle Wall at the punt. So, the engineer's offense gets the, gets the touchdown. The defense turns around, gets the stop. Now, you got to keep going momentum-wise offensively to get points. Doesn't necessarily have to be a touchdown, but get some points to get some stuff to keep that momentum offensively. 840 and counting, third quarter. Nap is a little low. Wall crouches, makes the catch. Kick is Emmerich calling the fair catch at the 45-yard line, sliding on his knees to make it. They're going to call it the 46. First and 10 engineers with great field position. So, and immediately going into the huddle right next to Coach Kelly, you can hear Andrew Nicholas tell his teammates, let's go get another. Let's go get another. 8.33 to go here, third quarter, and boy, that would be big if this engineer offense could indeed go get another. He's referring to a touchdown. Levy and Carey in the backfield alongside Nicholas. They're both to his right. Lancers show blitz. The give is to Brandon Wynn. Fights his way across the 45 to the 44. First down, Engineers. This is a Matt Kelly offense you know. This is a Matt Kelly offense you've come to see over the past, evolve over the past four to five years. The Haas up front, the big men up front. 
Alex Gladu, TJ Cooper, Brendan Green, Patrick Haggerty, Sullivan Boyd, now getting that push to enact and enable that running game, which will open up the passing game for Nicholas. Durgin in motion. Nicholas takes the snap. Win. Left side. Powers his way past the defender to the 30. Seven yard line, it's a pickup of six, second and four. Levy and Durgin in the backfield alongside Nicholas. Surgeon in motion. The give is to Levy. Excuse me, that's win. I apologize. Powering his way to the 22 yard line. First and 10 after the 15 yard pickup. Winning 49 yards on eight carries before that touch. Add 15 of that. Six fifty to go, third quarter. Worcester State 20, WPI 10, WPI driving. Durgin in motion. Nicholas takes the snap. Gets to the up back. Powers his way. Still on his feet. Touchdown, engineers! Zach Levy. His first career touchdown for the grad student, Zach Levy. 6.40 to go here, third quarter. Worcester State 20, WPI 16. Bryce Wade on for the point after. Engineers are feeling it. Crowd is starting to get into it. Pep Band playing the good songs. Point after try is good. Engineers cut the lead to three. Worcester State 20, WPI 17, 6.40 to go here in third quarter. What a difference, what a difference two halves make. And it all goes back, and this it would be interesting to see toward the end of the game, at the end of the game, talking to C-Rob, what the message was in the, in the, in the locker room. It's, he's a big proponent of leave it, forget it, move forward. Leave it, forget it, move forward. Flush the bad, keep the good. Flush it, let's start it. It's a new half, let's get something going that we want to do. Brick by brick has been the motto of this WPI football team this spring and into the fall. And here it is, brick by brick, rebuilding here in the second half. Why way to kick off to Brandon Jakes and Keandre Davis. Wade making sure each side is ready to go. Sprints up with his left leg, swings, kick, and over end. He's gonna go to Jakes again. Jakes from the 11, makes the catch. Has a lot of space in front of him. Goes to the far sideline, gets upended. Near the 35 yard line, we'll see where they mark him. It's on the 35, first and 10 Lancers from their own 35 yard line. Now, here, the WPI defense. This is a very, very important possession here for WPI defense. Your offense has just put up back-to-back -back drives with points. This is an important stop or limit to three points for the WPI defense. 6.34 to go, third quarter. Worcester State 20, WPI 17. Buckle up, folks. We've got a good one here at Alumni Stadium in Worcester. Williams takes a snap. He'll hand it off to Holmes. Tripped up in the backfield. Excuse me, that's Mills. At the 32, loses three, second and 13. Nika Hessel breaking through and making the tackle. Second and 15. After the five, uh, 13, excuse me, after the three yard loss for the Lancers. Six minutes even to go here, third quarter. Worcester State 20, WPI 17. 
Williams. Adjusting the protection at the line of scrimmage, maybe even audibling at the line of scrimmage. Extends the hands, takes a high snap, looking to throw under pressure. Gets Raven over the middle, Kayvon Davis! Boy, this young man is unbelievably short-handed across midfield to the 40-yard line, first and 10 Lancers. Kayvon Davis, eight catches. He's over 100 yards today. 5.23 to go. Mels, swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe one yard, it looks like they're gonna give him one, second and nine. Eight catches, 111 yards for Kayvon Davis. They're gonna say, actually, they're gonna give him a yard, half a yard to a yard, second and nine from the 39. Williams from the gun. Holmes and Mells are on each, on either hip. High snap! He's able to corral it. Now gets rid of it. It's incomplete. He was looking for Chad Wren and it falls incomplete. Third and nine, 439 to go here, third quarter. It's been an exciting football game to this moment. Only to get more exciting. Mel's is to Williams' right hip. High snap, it goes over the head of Williams. He's gonna pick up and try to do something. Spins off the tackle. And then will be dropped in the backfield. A huge loss after a poor snap by Trevor Johnson. Derek Doncaster with a huge sack. Deep in the backfield, it's fourth and eternity from the Lancer 44 yard line. Tommy Emmerich back deep to receive this punch. He's standing at his own 14 yard line. Kyle Wall waiting for the snap. Jaden Karen is a long snapper, by the way. Good snap. Kick is up. Emmerich calls for a fair catch. Now fire. It's a WPI bounce inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. First and 10 engineers from their own 28 yard line. No big deal here. The defense has done exactly what it needed to do with the help of poor snaps by the center, Trevor Johnson. First two possessions here in the third quarter for the engineers. 23 yard touchdown run by Hunter Carey, his first career. Second possession, 22 yard run by Zach Levy, his first career touchdown. Now with 3.41 to go in the third quarter, what does coach Matt Kelly and crew have in store for this engineer offense? Win up the middle, powers his way, excuse me, that's Levy, powering his way to the 39 yard line. It's a first and 10 engineers after the 10 yard pickup. Levy, four carries, 44 yards now. 320 in counting for the engineers. Nicholas Belivi goes left side this time, crashes through the line to the 45 yard line. It's a six yard pickup, second and four. Second and four after the six yard pickup by Levy. 2.45 to go here, third quarter. Worcester State 20, WPI 17. WPI looking to score on his first three possessions in the second half. Lance is showing blitz, it's picked up. Levy up the middle, right where the blitzer came from. Across midfield to the 49 yard line. 
First down, engineers. Nice, healthy dose of Zach Levy. And you could do this if you're Coach Matt Kelly and uh, offensive coordinator Matt Kelly and Coach Chris Robertson. You could do this because you have essentially a three-headed monster at running back. You have Brandon Wynn, Hunter Carey, and Zach Levy. Levy's listed as a fullback uh, at uh, six feet, 220. But you have Hunter Carey, 6'2", 205, and Brandon Wynn, 5'10", 205. <laughs> Not small by any stretch of the imagination. Under two minutes to go. Emmerich in motion to give us to Levy. Sweep to the far side, gets to... We'll see where they mark him. They're gonna say he didn't gain anything. Second and 10 for the engineers. Second down, 10. Fifty-six yards on the evening for Levy. Ninety seconds to go in the third quarter. Engineers trailing by three with the football on, in positive territory. Nicholas for Levy comes near side, has plenty of room, passes the forty, tumbles over a defender to the thirty-six. First and ten after the thirteen-yard pickup. One ten to go here in the third quarter. I don't know, call me crazy, but if I'm Matt Kelly, I'm starting to think maybe of some sort of play action here. Maybe some sort of play action, I'm not sure. Just to, Worcester State keeps creeping and creeping. 45 seconds, Nicholas throwing out right, coming near side, Coucher with the catch, spins off the tackle. Crosses the 30 to the 28 yard line. It's an eight yard pickup, second and two for the engineers. This is the rhythm of the Matt Kelly offense. Ground and pound, ground and pound, ground and pound. Oh, by the way, here's, an R here's a straight pass that we can complete or an RPO coming up. Final 15 seconds of the third quarter. Let's see if the engineers get a playoff. 10 seconds, eight seconds, six seconds. Nicholas takes a snap. Maybe got away with a false start there. Carry up the middle, go to the end zone. Touchdown, Engineers! What a hole created by Green and Haggerty on the right side. Carry hit it, and then some. Final play of the third quarter. WPI retakes the lead, 23 to 20. Bryce Wade hits the extra point. WPI 24, Worcester State 20. It's the first lead since early in the first half, early in the first quarter for WPI. Fifteen minutes left in regulation here at Alumni Stadium. Hunter Carey, second touchdown of the day. Nine carries, 113 yards for Hunter Carey. Eight carries, 69 yards for Zach Levy. Nine carries, 64 yards for Brandon Wynn. And listen to those amount of carries. Each runner relatively fresh. Yes, I know they're taking hits, but they're relatively fresh. Bryce Wade lining up Kayvon Davis, Brandon Jakes deep for the Lancers. Excuse me, Brody Jakes. 
been calling him Brandon. I apologize. The kick is to Kayvon Davis' side. He makes the catch. He's trying to come near his side. He eludes the tackler. Flag on the play. It could only mean holding. It came from the referee deep. We'll see what the official call is. Multiple flags came flying in. For the returner, illegal block in the back. Receiving number 38. After this, the spot of the foul. First down. So an illegal block in the back against Nico Holmes. And that'll drive both team, uh, the Lancer offense back inside the 10 to the nine. So momentum completely on the whatever PI side. And now you get a defense who's been penetrating and coming up big who's able to maybe pin their ears back and get out. Williams from the gun. Nine on the game clock. Worcester State doesn't have enough players on the field. Five on the game clock. Four, three, two, one. Snap gets off as the clock goes to double zeros. Under pressure, gets rid of it. Pass is caught by Hall on the near side. Inside making with the pressure. Isaac, uh, excuse me, Zach Newberg was with the pressure. But the Lancers is able to get a first down at the 20 yard line. First and 10 with their state. Nearly disastrous start to that to this drive for the Lancers. They didn't have they had 10 guys on the field. Woods. Near side, caught, no, dropped by Hall. Crashing hard was Blake Braga. Second and 10, just earned away fourth quarter, 14.20 to go. WPI enjoying a four point lead, 24-20, after scoring a three third quarter touchdowns in response to Worcester State rattling off 20 straight points before them. Williams takes a snap, looking to throw, gets rid of it, incomplete, he was under pressure. It was over the middle, intended for Dion Ose Sarpong, and it'll bring up second and 10. Pardon me, third and 10. Nothing like a big comeback on opening night. 21 straight points so far by the Engineers. Engineers enjoying a 24-20 lead over the Lancers. Lancers with the ball at their own 20. Williams, third and 10, takes a snap. Dropping back, looking to throw. Looks downfield, looking, looking, heaves it. Ball is up, that ball is caught. Kayvon Davis. Wow. Heard that name plenty tonight for Worcester State. Before that catch, Kayvon Davis had nine catches at 187 yards. Now he'll have 10 catches over 200 yards, the sophomore out of Utica, New York. Williams, far side and a little wide receiver screen and it's broken up instantaneously in the backfield. Kayvon Davis losing yardage, it wasn't his fault. 221 yards before that one yard loss of 11 catches, 220 yards for Kayvon Davis. I know, by the way, two touchdowns for the sophomore for Worcester State. 13 10 to go, fourth quarter. WPI up by four, 24 to 20. Trips to the near side. Kayvon Davis all alone on the far side. Instead, it's a draw. And getting to the 40 is Amir Wells. Seven yard pickup. It'll bring up third and four. Down, 
You can hear the crowd in it. Flag on the plate. Maybe an offside, I'm not sure. It is an offside, so there was a free play. But this will bring this will give Worcester State a first down on the five-yard penalty. Let's listen in for the official announcement. <clears throat> Mohammed first down. Mohammed Barry offside for WPI. It's a first down at the 35 yard line after the five yard penalty. So the WPI defense now aiding the Worcester State offense. Amir Well Mel's up the middle, crosses the 30 to the 27, 28 yard line, excuse me. It's a six yard pickup, second and four. Eleven forty five to go, fourth quarter, WPI twenty four, Worcester State twenty. Trips to the near side. Kayvon Davis all alone on the far side. Williams looking to throw. Goes far side. It's a double coverage. Intercepted! Ethan Catania with the interception. WPI will take over first and 10 from its own 20. Boy, this WPI defense has stepped it up here in the second half, making the plays when they need to. And now it's the offense's turn, who is so far three possessions here in the second half, three touchdowns. Can they continue this momentum? In the backfield is Hunter Carey. A part of this three-headed monster that the engineers have used tonight. Alongside Brandon Wynn and Zach Levy. It's Carey coming to the near side. Stiff arms the tackler, tries to cut it back. Gets near the 24-yard line. He does get the 24-yard line. Four-yard pickup, second and six. Second six. Carry now with 117 yards on 10 carries for the graduate student. 10.50 to go in regulation. WPI 24, Worcester State 20. Engineers with the football on their own 24 yard line. Nicholas on the RPO is looking to throw on the run and gets knocked down. Good defensive play. By the Lancers, Mason Royals. No, Coucher makes a catch, actually. Excuse me. Broyles with the tackle. Apologize. I thought the official gave the incomplete signal, but it's Coucher with the catch. First and ten engineers. And this is what the Matt Kelly offense can do. Ten minutes to go in regulation. Lance is showing blitz on each side. Now back off from the far side. Emmerich in motion. The give is to Carey, who gets hit at the line of scrimmage. And it'll be second and ten for the engineers. Zach Levy will check in. Hunter Carey will check out. The rotation of backs, big bruising backs with great speed. 
has kept that backfield relatively fresh this whole game. 9.20 to go, fourth quarter. Second and 10 engineers. Nicholas takes a snap. He'll give it to Levy. Cuts it back. Back up the middle. That's Brandon Wynn. Coming near side. Across the 35 to the 31-yard line. And we have a Lancer down with 9.07 to go here in the fourth quarter. Can't tell from here. I believe that's Jessica Meany out there attending to the injured Lancer. Looks like an arm issue. 9.07 to go here, fourth quarter. WPI 24, Worcester State 20. WPI three possessions here in the second half, three touchdowns here in the second half. 24 straight points. That was not Jessica Meany with the injured Western State player. Twenty-one third quarter points by the engineers have them back in front. They led 3-0 with 7.57 to go in the first quarter before Worcester State routed off 20 straight points. WPI has since answered with 21 straight points and driving. Nine, oh, nine minutes even ago. Fourth quarter, first and 10 engineers from the Worcester State 31. Durgin goes in motion. Nicholas takes a snap. He'll hand it to Carey. Goes up the middle, gets hit at the line, spins off the tackler inside the 30 to the 29. Pick up of second and eight. Two yard gain, second down, eight. Ten on the game call. Nicholas to carry right side. Now up the middle, spins his way inside the 25 to the 23 to pick up a six, third and two. formation, if you will. Now Durgin goes in motion. Carrot follows Durgin, powers his way. Let's see if he's got the first down. The far side ball judge is a yard short. It's fourth and one from the 22. And go for it. Why not? You got the momentum. It'll be a dagger if you get it. Ten seconds, you're gonna have to burn a timeout here. You're gonna have to burn a timeout. Somebody's gonna call timeout unless Nicholas is gonna get it off in two seconds, and he does. Carry up the middle, first down engineers at the 15 yard line. Boy, that was hairy there for a second. I never thought Nicholas would get that play off, but he did. 6.30 to go, fourth quarter, WPI 24. Worcester State 20, WPI driving for more. Ball spotted at the 15 yard line, first and 10. Durgin and Carey in the backfield alongside Nicholas. Carey is deep, Durgin is to Nicholas's uh, right hip 
It's Carey following Durgeon's lead block. Gets to the 12-yard line, a pickup of three, second and seven. To the near side, Durgeon in the H slot. Carry the deep back behind Nicholas. Durgeon in motion. Nicholas takes a snap to carry. Coming near side, fights his way through. He's going to stay on his feet, fight his way to the five yard line, and a first down for the Engineers. First and goal with 5 11 to go here in the fourth quarter. First and goal, and now Carey steps off and he gets a rousing round of applause from the audience. Five minutes even to go, fourth quarter. WPI 24, Worcester State 20. WPI knocking on the end zone's door from the five yard line. Braden Wynn behind Andrew Nicholas. Durgeon in the H slot. Worcester State stacking the box, doesn't matter. Wynn. He'll lose a couple to the six. He'll lose one to the six, and it'll be second and goal. Loss of one, first down and goal from the six. Second down and goal from the six. 418 to go. Fourth quarter, second and goal from the six. Wynn and Durgeon in the backfield alongside Nicholas. Durgeon to Nicholas's left hip. Wynn behind him. Wynn up the middle. Crashes inside the five. Stays up to the two yard line. Third and goal. We're going to get a timeout. Worcester State with its first charge timeout with 3.42 to go here in the fourth quarter. WPI 24, Worcester State 20. 21 straight points by the Engineers in the third quarter to erase 20 straight points by the Lancers. We'll leave you with the WPI Cup in. Goal from the two for WPI. 3.42 and counting to go in this, no, excuse me, 3.42 to go in the fourth quarter. WPI enjoying a four point lead, 24 to 20. Durgeon in motion. Nicholas takes a snap, win to the side that Durgeon went in motion to. End zone, touchdown, WPI! What a second half for the Engineers. 27 straight points. Bryce Wade for the point after try. Snap good, hold good, kick good. WPI 31, Worcester State 20, 337 to go here in the football game.
What a second half for the engineers. 28 straight points here in the second half for WPI. Their lead is 11, 31-20 over Worcester State with 3.37 to go in this football game. A first half that saw Moses Aaron Williams just absolutely tear apart, or excuse me, Aaron Moses Williams absolutely tear apart the WPI defense, especially the secondary. But the locker room pep talk woke up the front seven, which in turn woke up the defensive backs. And after an early third quarter touchdown by Kayvon Davis, it's been shut down city by the engineers. Bryce Wade to kick. Uh, Kayvon Davis from the eight. Goes far side, and he'll get tripped up at the 28, 29 yard line, and the Lancers will take over first and 10. Ethan Farah, the senior from Grafton, making the special teams tackle for Coach Galen Holmes. Three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter, WPI 31, Worcester State 20. Williams has Mel's with him to his right hip. Now he sends him, excuse me, Holmes in motion. Looking to throw to him on the near side in the flat, gets to him. Holmes gets to the 32 before four graphite jerseys get around him and bring him down. It's a four yard pickup, second and six. Four, six. Williams looking to throw on the slant. It's caught by Hall. It'll be a first down Worcester State at the 41 yard line. Quad wide receivers out there for the Lancers. Williams takes a high snap, corrals it. Looking to throw, goes over the middle. That ball is caught by Kayvon Davis. No, dropped. He got smacked over the middle. And the ball falls incomplete. What a big hit put on there by Blake Bragall, the outside linebacker. 2.39 to go, fourth quarter. Now empty backfield, five wide receivers out there for the Lancers. Williams, back to throw, looking under pressure, lost the football! Ball still loose, picked up by the engineers! Evan Wirtz, the middle linebacker, coming up with the fumble recovery. 2.31 to go, fourth quarter, WPI up 31-20. Why not put some more off of the board? You're in great field position at the Lancer 22-yard line. Levy the deep back behind Nicholas. Durgeon goes in motion. Levy gets the handoff, goes right side, has a little room, keeps his feet moving, gets to the 15 yard line. That's a gain of seven, second and three. Second down three. Oh, 
under 10 seconds on the game clock. 150 to go on the game clock. On the on the game clock. Four seconds on the play clock. It's Levy, right side. Gets spun out of bounds, but not before he picks up a first down. Inside the 10 at the seven. First and goal engineers, 137 to go in this football game. First down. Ball will be spotted on the seven yard line, first and goal. 97 seconds to go. WPI 31, Worcester State 20. Off the snap, Levy on the sweep to the near side. Cuts inside, end zone, touchdown, WPI. for the point after try. Kick is up, kick is good. Kick is good. 38 to 20, WPI. 35 unanswered points for the engineers with 60, excuse me, 92 seconds left. In this football game, WPI 38, Worcester State 20. What an amazing, amazing second half for this engineer team. Just a complete 180 to what was happening in the first half. And just an unbelievable showing both offensively and defensively for the engineers here in the second half. Kudos to coach Chris Robertson and crew. Whatever they told them in the locker room certainly paid dividends here in the second half. After giving up an early touchdown in the third quarter to Worcester State, <laughs> a switch was completely flipped. And 38 straight points later, excuse me, 35 straight points later, oh, late flag comes in and now some pushing and shoving and some frustration maybe on the Worcester State side. We'll see who the flag is officially against. It's not an unsportsman like it's a holding. So it's a 10 yard penalty. 84 seconds left in this football game. WPI 38, Worcester State 20. Not quite the shutout of last year, but boy, this, this defense and offense sure woke up in the second half here. Williams with four wide receivers out there. Takes a snap. Drops off to his check down. And it's Holmes' big stick on the near side. And the late flag comes in. I'm not sure what the flag is for. And Sirov is out there trying to figure it out too. I mean, we'll know as soon as the official starts. Announcing. After the play was over, personal foul on necessary roughness number 50 of the offense. It's against Worcester State. Down second down. It's an unsportsmanlike against Worcester State after the play. I thought it was going to be on WPI for the hit. 
you still can't go kind of helmet to helmet, but they're saying it's action and shoulder and whatever. 76 seconds to go in this football game. WPI, thir 35 straight points by WPI here in the second half. Has them up 38-20. Worcester State, first and 10 from their own 20. Wind's starting to pick up here, as you can hear the microphone goes up, dropped. Could have been an interception for the engineers. Instead, the ball was batted down to the turf by Riley Bent. And it'll bring up second and 10 with 68 seconds to go. Tell the difference in the, in the, in the audio with the wind and without the wind. 68 seconds to go. Williams stepping up. Now he's going to take off and gets dropped down from behind. Maybe a yard, third, a uh, second and nine. Cam Smith and Evan Works combining on the tackle. Third and eight, 45 seconds to go. Williams, with 25 seconds left, gets rid of it. That ball is caught by Jose Sarpong. He gets tackled in fair territory, fair territory between the lines. And that's probably the last play of the game, unless the Lancers get one final snap off here with five seconds to go. They're gonna try it. Three, two, one. Snap is good, okay. Last play of the game right here. Williams gearing up, throws far side. Ball three here at Alumni Stadium. For Donna Harmon, Rusty Egan, Alex Gutierrez, this is George Bannister. A 38 20 victory for the Engineers live at Alumni Stadium. We'll see you next time, our next broadcast, September 18th, homecoming against RPI. Have a great Labor Day weekend, everybody.